Hi guys and welcome to Bomb Anime. It's your girl Ruka. A big boy summer here bringing you our part two of Pura Aura Pride of Orange. I thought that the action of the matches was extremely boring until episode eight. And I think that from episode eight, that's when they started doing slightly faster movements and it wasn't as boring to watch. It was actually in, like some of the shots were interesting, but I appreciate that they picked it up. In all honesty, watching it as a whole, the slow pacing was more reflective of their lack of skill when they first started. So I get what they were trying to do. I found it more of a kid's program. I was not the target audience. To be honest, and I'm talking about like fives and under, not not quite. <laughs> no, I'm being serious because look, we had cutesy girls dancing around and playing hockey and talking about the power of friendship and and. So shonen, no. And integrating <laughs> different personalities into a group. And look, I I get it. It wasn't a bad message. It was a good message. It was uplifting. It was nice to watch maybe not binge but it was for kids in my opinion and so i would judge it as if i was judging a kid's show that's that's my <laughs> five and under though that's hard no seriously that, Look, that's really i can imagine harsh. some four-year-olds really digging no. the dances and enjoying this hockey and going mom mom i want to play hockey too like i can, I can oh see my it. gosh so i felt like it followed the same format as burning kabaddi because the, the team is trying to put themselves together. You had the finding a star player and integrating them into the team, tricking the person into joining, you know, going against past teammates. It just, it had like all of the stuff that Burning Kabaddi had, except it was a lot different. You said you thought it was like Hanabado. Yes, and I stand by that. I feel like it gave the same feel as Hanabado. That's why I stand by it. <laughs> <laughs> so is that what you were thinking? Yeah, like it, that? it didn't. It wasn't Hanabado because Hanabado was a complex story of the the two ends of talent versus environment. This was not that, but it felt like Hanabado. Yeah, it had the it, same sort of feeling to it. Millions of characters, loads of unnecessary and I don't mean unnecessary as in they shouldn't have created certain parts I mean unnecessary to the plot or to any subplot sort of scenes that pretended to show you character development but really didn't and all the character development was on the court that kind of thing that's that's what I meant and that's how I saw Hannah Bado and so that's why it gave me that kind of feel but again I, I feel like it's definitely a kid show I thought that the character development in this one was way better than Hanibado. And although, yeah, I know you're saying that it was mostly on the court, I don't agree. I feel like everything that went into the episode was allowing them to slowly develop their characters in all aspects. And they weren't just on the court, so they didn't just make... It's not even a court, it's literally a rink. Oh my gosh, come on. They were in the rink. They also had another hobby, which was like sewing. I liked the fact that they actually had lots of aspects. They were surrounded around the elderly, like almost all of them were being raised by an older, an older grandmother. They did all right with the character development, especially with episode eight, where they had now and Rico on the wrist, stop it, on the, <laughs> on the rink and. Uh -huh. Oh my god. Now was trying to be better at defending and trying to overcome her fear of getting hurt, falling over and giving up. And even though, you know, she had a lot of development in that episode, we saw in like the, the next episodes that she was still fighting with it and it wasn't until Rico actually got hurt because of her that she started to say, okay, I, I, this is, I'm going to really come out of my shell now. So I think they did a good job with all of the girls developing, apart from um, Mammy. Like, they were like, bitch. <laughs> Look, now Rico's relationship was obviously, in my opinion, a girl love situation, which is cool because like they they did take lots of different aspects, and I like that about the show. I'm not against having character development and. I didn't mean that the character development was lacking, it was there, it's just that most of it was on the rink, in the rink, sorry. The coach was saying, this is where you're lacking, like they told us a lot of the development that they needed to do and then they did it. It wasn't a case where 
they kind of figured it out on them on their own and again it appeals to younger children because younger children are told how to grow up I, in I, that situation and okay I get, I get what you're saying and also like look I think Manako was an amazing lead character and I like the way that they allowed everyone to shine which is really hard especially yeah. when you've got such a big car yeah. everyone shone Mm. Everyone was a distinct, different character, and they they even utilized the similarities of certain people in certain situations and their differences. Mm. And sometimes it's on the nose, i.e., um, Mammy and um, and um, Manika's sister, who both love strawberries, and one likes it with cream and one doesn't like it with cream. But everything else that they did was literally almost the same until Mammy said bye. So it was like, I get it. It, it was pretty cool. I mean. It was a kid's show. There was okay. no complex situations. There was no complex drama. Every drama was resolved with talks no jutsu and hugs and kisses and flowers afterwards with a dance and song and dance about it. it was, yeah. I thought that it was a very female oriented anime mm -hmm. and they obviously did miss out like a lot of the training parts, but I think that's because they weren't really concentrating on it as a sports anime, even though they were playing sports. It was really about, like you said, like the friendship and them having bond it just happened to be that they were bonding over this sport. Yeah. So they didn't go into a lot of the training and seeing that kind of stuff and the gameplay, which although like last year we hadn't watched like any sports anime we've gone through like quite a few now not too many it's still in the single digits <laughs> but uh single digits one hand <laughs> well yeah it's under five <laughs> but even from that i'm starting to realize that i actually like the excitement that i get from a sports anime because it feels like actually watching sports at times yeah like you get the same kind of feeling but in Whereas a sports match or whatever it is, depending on the sport, is quite lengthy. The sports anime gives you all of the excitement in a shorter time period and you get to follow the story faster. And I think I prefer that in my sports anime. But I also think that it's based on expectations as well. Like, for instance, when we watched The Duke of Death, we were expecting something completely different to what we got. So it made it seem like it was way worse. And with this, we were told that it was going to be about ice hockey and they were going to be dancing but there was hardly any dancing actually they only did like a dance i think at the halfway point the dance moved as the exercise which we didn't really see and then at the very end which was a really short performance so it wasn't even about that and the beginning so, and at, right at the beginning as well oh right yeah yeah which was so which makes it so uh, surprising when that's not even really coming into it at all so i think that it's also to do with like expectations Speaking of expectations, the theme of expectations was all the way throughout this anime and at times I thought it was a bit harsh the way that the girls were being treated, like we expect you to get through group B, we expect you to get through group A, we expect you to go into nationals. I was like, whoa, these are kids bro. But again, as I said when we did Burning Kabaddi, if you're in that sports environment that's your mentality so yeah they they did draw on sports anime for some aspects but when i was watching it and it was quite cutesy wootsy and then hard expectation it, it kind of jarred for me in that sense it was like chalk and cheese or in the water sort of thing it, it didn't feel like it well gelled but to be honest i haven't got too many criticisms other than that aspect in terms of the storyline because I think the story was well developed I think they built a really nice world around it I didn't understand the Okinawa trip to be fair I, I didn't get that that episode. was weird that was a weird uh, but whatever definitely a weird but episode. in terms of story I thought I thought they did a good job to convey the story about a coming of age young girls turning into women and finding themselves and knowing who they are especially Rico and now I liked it and also Rico as well she had the whole thing where she couldn't find her voice and she was really the goalie yeah i know who she is. you looked at me like blank face like i mean i know there was a lot of names i liked the way the anime sort of laughed at itself it was oh, yeah. always making little jokes especially to do with like sports anime and it gave it a nice tone of very light humor like it's not going to make you laugh but you might smile because you know it's almost as if the writers are speaking directly to the audience yeah I, and i liked that yeah it was it, it, it left you with good vibes good vibes mm. for feeling 
But what I didn't like was the Snow White member. I can't remember her name. Ellie. She had like, oh yeah, Aerie. I thought she was really inappropriate and really selfish with the way she kept constantly approaching you, like just for her own satisfaction. You called her before, you approach her while she's training before the match, and now in the middle of the match, you just have to say this. Like, you've had so much time to say it, you could have called me anytime. Like, seriously. If you're trying to win, I mean, like, what else are you gonna do? No, I get that, but it didn't feel like she was trying to throw her off her game. It didn't get, it didn't give that feeling at all. It just felt like she's just a really selfish person that just wants to say whatever she wants to say whenever she wants to say it, and you must accommodate. The kids? Oh, wow. Yeah, do you get yeah. what I mean? Like, or okay. every four year old on the planet does the but same thing. But they're not thing. poor! Ah, that's their audience. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so Ruka. Yeah, to the verdict. Let's go. Ruka, what do you think? Is this hot or a waste of time? I can't say it's hot. Seriously. It's not a bad anime, it's not bingeable. It's something that I could watch, but not more than two episodes a day because I was getting sleepy. Like I had to do things to refresh myself, just to throw water in the face to stay awake. It was a waste of time, unfortunately. It wasn't my thing. I didn't really enjoy it that much. So I'm going to buck the trend and say it was hot. So I'm not looking at this. As I said, I'm going to judge it as if it was a four-year-old channel. <laughs> no, so, you <laughs> and it's the only way I can come to terms with no. having to sit through. You gotta judge it as yourself for the channel and okay. tell people whether you would recommend them to go and watch this okay. or whether you are telling them that they should give it a miss. Okay, it's not a waste of time, it's a hot. And as me, I recommend this to your little brothers and sisters and to your little cousins <laughs> and whatnot. But the reason why it's a hot for me is because the story was on point. Obviously, we binged it, so obviously we don't get a proper feel for how it should go. If it was spaced out a bit, it'll be okay. And the whole friendship thing is a big part of anime, especially for me, and I'm sure for a lot of people. So it is still endearing to see that. Mm. And I really liked it. And it, for me, felt like watching the slow version of Naruto. You know what I mean? No. I'm talking about his no. character, not the show, but... Um, no, <laughs> no. I, I liked it. The whole wanting to create good bonds, good times and good memories. I liked it. And yeah, that's why it's a hot for me. So there you have it. I've gone for a waste of time. Big Boy Sam has said that it's hot. For the little kids. <laughs> so on that note, thank you so much for watching if you got this far. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Hey.